think all young men aspire to something great. I think there, there's always this looking something beyond what we can truly achieve in our life. And so guys are realizing that a lot of things that the world's trying to offer it doesn't truly satisfy. And so they're looking for a deeper meaning, a deeper purpose. For us who believe, we're blessed to know that there is a personal God who created us and has a plan for our lives. God gives to each and every one of us a particular calling. So for us, as Christians, we discern or reflectively, prayerfully come to understand what God's plan is for us. That's a vocation. Everyone has one. We're all in the world for a reason. Discerning God's will isn't just for like nuns and priests. It's not something that the religious do. It's something that all of us do. The foundational vocation is the vocation to married life. And then some people are called to priesthood or to religious life, which is a very particular calling. When growing up, I wanted to be a baseball player, a professional baseball player. And so I worked hard, I practiced all the time. As I got into high school, I realized that this probably was not going to happen. And soon after, I went to my first concert. I went to a Billy Joel concert. I had played the piano already and I wanted to be the next Billy Joel. And I even studied it into college. And it was at that time where I first felt maybe he had other plans for me, plans that I did not envision. So even though I had different ideas of what I wanted to be when I grew up, I can honestly say that this experience exceeds any expectation that I would have had or any goal that I had for my own life. The privilege of being a priest really can't be put into words and he's just blessed me abundantly in ways that I, I just could never have imagined. And so all men search for greatness. That's why we look at athletes, even some entertainers, or people we kind of put on a pedestal as a symbol of, I, I want to do something great. I never realized the greatness that God was calling me to until the day that I was ordained a priest. There's no greater thing happening in the entire world than what happens in the hands of a priest through the consecration of the Eucharist. The priest is allowing God to work through him in miraculous ways, truly supernatural. You know, when a priest raises the host in the air, it's no longer him working, but it's Christ himself who's present in the church, offering his body and offering his blood for his people. The priest has discovered that he is called by God to literally represent Jesus. For every person, it's different how God calls that person. But in every case, God is working in surprising ways. Acceptance of the gift of the priesthood has brought me the greatest joy of my life. So would it be fulfilling saying yes to your vocation? I think it will be the most fulfilling thing. Following God's will will always lead you to happiness. Who knows best? It's God. So if you follow the will of God, you will find happiness. When your will and God's will meet, that's when the amazing things will begin to happen. If a young man is considering, what is my purpose in life? What is God's call for me? And if he hears that maybe the answer is to, to consider being a priest, I would just tell him, don't be afraid because God knows you more than anyone. And he would only call you to what would be most fruitful and most fulfilling in your own life.